greetings in the blessed and wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. This is a uh, kind of a pop-up um, ministry moment uh, geared towards our prayer ministry and just wanted to take time to give a shout out to them for continuing to do an outstanding and wonderful job. The Lord led me to Matthew chapter six, verses five through eight. Uh, and just for a few seconds, I want to talk to you about praying without pretense. With all of the privileges that we have as born again, spirit filled believers, perhaps the greatest privilege that we have is the privilege of prayer. Being able to go directly into the presence of the Lord is an honor beyond description. Knowing that we are tore up from the floor up, have flaws, have faults, we've fallen, we've faltered, we've made mistakes along the way. But yet and still, Hebrews chapter four tells us to let us boldly come before the throne of grace. We can have confidence because we have access to the creator. What I love about our God is that he is so intimate. He is so personal. He is a personal father that that in these particular verses, it, he, uh, uh, Jesus is reminding us that we should not allow prayer to simply be a ritual. That, that we should not uh, formulate our prayers in a predetermined way, that we don't have to pray long in order to be effective. But, but he does let us know that we ought to make uh, prayer a priority. Uh, if you uh, think about how good God has been to you and how many ways he's made for you and how, how you still need his leadership, guidance and direction, then I submit to you that you already know that real prayer is a priority. Jesus said, when thou prayest, he didn't say if you pray, but he says when you pray, because the idea and the thought is it is understood that you are praying. We are commanded to pray in Luke 18. And since we are told to pray, we ought to make prayer a priority. Not only is real prayer a priority, but real prayer is personal. In contrast to the hypocrites who like to pray in public and pray loud and pray long in front of other people, Jesus tells us as believers to go into a private place to pray. I know we may not even think about this as a church family, but every Sunday morning, we've got a group uh, in the prayer ministry of anywhere between you know up to seven people uh, that will come in. I think they're here about six in the morning and they're praying. They're walking around the entire sanctuary and the building, laying the hands. What they don't know is I get here before they do, and I do the same thing because real prayer is a priority and it's personal and it's so precious. It is absolutely precious because I, I want to go to my secret place because there are things that I can share with my God in private that I can't share anywhere else. And then real prayer is powerful because Jesus says that the father who sees us in secret will reward us openly. <clears throat> I need you to know, brothers and sisters, your praying is not in vain. Your worshiping is not in vain. Your fasting is not in vain. Your uh, coming alongside someone else to encourage them is never in vain. But when you think about how good God is, you ought not ever pray with pretense, but we ought to make up in our mind. I'm going to let the Lord lead me. I'm going to allow him to understand that my prayer is real, that my prayer is a priority, uh, that my prayer is personal, that my prayer is precious, and that my prayer is powerful. With that, I'm out of time. Got a long day ahead, but we're going to make this uh, thing work for God's glory by his grace. Join me now for a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we honor you and we thank you for this day. We're so excited for all that you've done and all that you're doing and all that we believe by faith you are yet going to do. We pray now that a special blessing upon our prayer ministry, upon the entire Grace Emmanuel Baptist Church ministry, that you will lead us and guide us and direct us every single step of the way. And God, when it's all said and done, we promise that we will give your name the praise, the honor, and the glory. It is in the matchless, the majestic, and the wonderful name of Jesus Christ that we pray. Every heart said together. Amen. Listen, may the Lord continue to richly bless you and keep you. And you know, as we always say, no matter how difficult your season may be, hold on because help is on the way and the best is yet to come. God bless you. Peace.